there are films with actors and uh, very high production level, and there are others which are very simple. For instance, uh, your films on the changing of the Beijing housing problems and new uh, neighborhoods. Is that true? So you work with very different kinds of technical support. Yeah. So um, uh, I, I think different projects, based different project, I will use different group or different uh, scale of uh, of the team to focus on a uh, different topic. For example, the Beijing uh, project is uh, more like a documentary. And even we g gave the camera to the uh, Beijing people to use it to filming by himself to document the uh, demolic, demolish of uh, his house. So um, for some of the piece, like uh, showing Serpentine, uh, the solo show, uh, the film called Nova, that is uh, the most uh, biggest uh, production uh, in my uh, in my creation. So it really depends uh, what kinds of project is uh, it's a fiction film or documentary or short film or, or, or like uh, the model you saw in Venice Biennial, and that only two person. Uh, together make them finish the model and finish the f filming um, but in all your works whether it's a, a the model or whether it's a documentary like films or fiction like films you always treat today's society and technology and the influence new technologies have of the society um, yes and also I think most important is uh, my end goal is more like uh, observe, observe uh, the changing of the society. So that if it on, uh, I'm not only just uh, um, focused on technology, but also including human, um, the developing of the city, uh, of the country, of the society, and including the technology. And the new new project in show in Pompidou and Serpentine, and I think it's the first time to focus on history. You continue to work with documentary and fiction films because your your last films, uh, it's about history, then it's about architecture, then it's about the history of architecture or a building, and uh, it's not only history; it's also science fiction a little bit. You are always into the future a little bit. Would you agree with that? Yes. Uh, I think in the past, it's a too much relay future. Uh, like the RMB City project in second, that piece is in 2007. Uh, I think it's quite early piece focused on virtual reality. So for the new project, even in science fiction, but I more prefer uh, is a retro, uh, retro future. Um, it's a fiction, but it's a vintage. Uh, it's where it makes history and recent and future together. What do you think uh, uh, about the history of China? Is it a young history or an old history? Because you have not many traces of, of uh, the old history, but you have a memory which is uh, not materialized. It's in your head more. I think it's young history. Uh, at least the history is from New China since 1949. Uh, yeah, so because China have such long, like 5,000 years history. So um, I think the recent project is uh, more related, young, I mean, modern history. We will show here in Kino der Kunst your film Asia One, which is about uh, uh, the relation of tra uh, traditional and modern dance to very new, nearly science fiction technology in a, in a sort of deposit uh, and transport. Can you, uh, Center, can you 
explain a little bit Asia One. Um, Asia One is filmed in 2000, uh, finished 2018. So uh, in that years, China have a huge, uh, 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 um, how to say, uh, focus on the uh, AI, yeah? yeah, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. So and also our daily life is running by the logistic, like uh, uh, like eBay, something like uh, uh, Amazon. People mm -hmm. or food or the or the uh, goods uh, shopping online, and then so uh, the logistic is is a con is structure our modern life in China. So that's why I. Uh, asking one of the uh, biggest uh, Chinese logistic company called JD, JD, yeah, JD.com. So they have have a huge um, logistic source room in China or China called Asia One, yeah, Asia number one factory. They have a fully automatic uh, 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 um, um, factory in China, so I were I were interesting how they running and how they uh, operate in different way, and how they uh, as a new new uh, construction our uh, our life, yeah, uh, construction our life. So I asking their permission to let me enter accept their factory to make this uh, fiction film. Can you talk a little bit about your 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 project, Who's Utopia? Because, as you said, your films like Asia One are in the near future, are uh, a very close science fiction, which is nearly a reality today. But what is uh, what do you mean by or what is Who's Utopia about? So, whose utopia is more like a sister sister piece of uh, of uh, Asia One? But it's more earlier. In, we, I created in two thousand six, yeah. But yeah. now is already is history, because the factory is gone, the worker is nobody there.
In 2006, when I'm filming, um, I just want to see what happened in the factory. Uh, how worker they live life, what they do, and who ordered the the the, the you uh, uh, who ordered the mission, who need uh, this ton tons of the object. Uh, so I think whose utopia is like a question. Uh, is our utopia or 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 the workers' utopia? How who care of their dreams? Yeah. So that's why I have idea to develop the Asian one after like 12 years later mm -hmm. to see what happened in industry uh, field, what happened now in this uh, fully automatic condition, where the worker gone and also what kind of scale person the worker they need in this moment. I think Asia One is like echo of uh, of uh, of uh, whose utopia uh, piece. Aren't you sometimes uh, getting afraid of what might be science fiction? What is the youngest reality? Because, as you said, whose utopia you filmed in a in a factory which doesn't exist anymore which is like a memory of the future already, because it's past. The future is already past. So it's going on very fast, but you, you, the danger, for, or is it a danger for you? Or uh, are you afraid of this fact that, that you treat things, technologies, which will maybe disappear in two or three years? Uh, if you look at the Asian one, the beginning of the film, uh, the factory is uh, is gone. If you remember the first eight, min eight, eight minutes, uh, a few people like uh, like a future far future people work in the factory, but the factory is nobody. Or the train, the automatic train is 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 uh, is uh, uh, abandoned. Um, so and then I start a. a, a, a start the story in 2021. So I already put the story in the far future and I can see or I can smell what happened in the future in this factory. Would you say that, that uh, even if you film in China and if you uh, make that confrontation between future technology or very new technology and a relation to Chinese history, but most of your works are much more general. It's uh, oriental and occidental. It's universal. Because we have the same side, kind of uh, uh, problems with or, or, or relation to technology as you have. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah. So it's like a, a global phenomenon uh, in the world. Yeah. You said if if I would like to do, or if I would uh, make art which is to be completely out of time, I would be a painter. What did you mean by this? <laughs> I forgot I have this answer. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't lie. Yeah, I, 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 I don't remember. I don't remember I have this uh, answer. So... Um, yeah, even even uh, I think the the technology developing related human in this uh, era is uh, is um, you know we we where we use it very convenience right we have a, a lot of app um, but another side I think everyone can see how it destroy our human connecting even the next generation um and because because the modern history the the young history is so short right with the ai ai and also have the app history also very young so it's it, it 
something happen in in the in the next ten year or five years, de depend on the uh, I mean uh, a reference on the long history. This is so sharp, but but maybe it's it's um, how to say is um, we don't know how strongly to destroy our future. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Strongly power to destroy our our future, and so I can't see. You know, um, that's why many of the my film is critical and also giving the question to our contemporary life. Mm -hmm.